Yo, what's going on everybody? It's High Pod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. And this is my first GTA 5 online video. Now, I've watched a few videos before I hopped online because of course, no I wasn't able to get online because of the server, so I heard that people's accounts were glitching, they were getting a certain amounts of money, they were buying houses, cars, and it was all wiped away. So, me being the smart guy, I decided not to get online until like the third or fourth. So, you know, everything's good. So, this is just the beginning uh, little tutorial. Um, all the videos that I watch, um, I watch regular Dave 2975s the most. And I saw that there was basically jobs that you had to do in order to learn about GTA Online. Now, a lot of people probably will say that, oh, it's just like the storyline, but really it's not because it's some of the same jobs until you unlock new levels now i know you guys are probably looking at my car like why is ipod driving a, a smart car well look let me let me just let me just kick it to y'all real quick when i was looking at the acceleration of all the cars this had the highest acceleration that's the only reason i'm in it um i just decided you know what well if i can accelerate uh, better maybe I'll beat Lamar in this little race now I don't know what Lamar is driving I think he's driving like a old caddy or something like that I don't know but I know his car is pretty old and me I'm just probably about the worst driver in GTA so y'all can't fault me for this uh, race <laughs> I'm just saying but yeah man um whip game pretty cool this little tutorial is basically to show you guys about the races uh, I forgot who's the guy who sets up the races. I think it's um just like either you open up your cell phone, you open up the mini map, and all the races will just show. Um, I think it's like cycling. I think it's uh, aircrafts, cars, bikes. I think it's all different types of land races and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. But I really don't do many of them. But uh, I do have a good pro tip for a lot of you guys that have been looking to get money though. Um, as I kept progressing in online GTA, I noticed that there was this one job. It's called American Cycle. Um, it's a bike race, a cycle race, whatever you want to call it. The job pays out to the winner $6,000. Now, let's put it like this. If you're in a crew, such as, you know, I'm in my crew, are you mad, huh? Uh, you will get $7,200 for winning that bike race. Now, I know probably a lot of people are like, dang, what's this bike race, like five, 10 minutes? Nope, the bike race lasts probably about a minute to two minutes tops. Now, think about it like this. If you got a crew of four people and you say, all right, well, we need some quick money. This is what you do. You go to your little map, click on bike races, go to American Cycle, then the winner that y'all choose, like say you'd be like, yo, you gonna win this one and I got the next one. You say, yo, bet is bet the max. So the max is $2,500. You bet the max, you'll win a stack off of that, including the 7,200. You feel me? And, and the match only takes a minute and a half. So just think about it like this. If y'all wanna keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it, when y'all come to the loading screen of having to like the job, you like it, and then you hit RT or R2 for PS3. And it'll automatically restart and then the next person can win he can win 7200 and this is the kicker right here for the people that don't get first i think it's like 4800 uh 2400 and i think like 1400 so you know the other guys still will be getting money as you progress so don't don't think like oh only one guy's gonna get it everybody's gonna get some chump change but moving on this time me and Lamar gotta kick it real quick and uh, you know, just do what we do. But you guys can read on screen of what he's saying. Um, I lowered the level so I can talk, you know, this is all about me. But um, basically he's hooking me up right now with somebody named Gerald. Um, from what I know, Gerald is nothing but a drug dealer that steals coke and meth and all types of drugs from other dudes and sells it. Now, this is funny because he's setting me up for failure. Like, what type of dude you know say, yo, if you want to get on some licks, go ahead, you know what I'm saying, holla at him, and then he going to hit you off with some stuff, and you go kill all these people, take their they drugs, and then bring it back to the man. So, you know, I was like, all right, well, 
I'm gonna go ahead and drive and do what I do. You know what I'm saying I I need a little couple of dollars anyway. Plus I need to get my shooting up because uh, the way that I see it, a lot of people have been having the problem of saying, "Yo, my attributes are not updating." I've I've shot a lot of people. I've ran a lot of places. I've swam a lot of places, and my stamina, shooting, driving, all that type of stuff is not upgrading. So let me give you a, a little background on that. As you progress in online, such as you go from level 1 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30, 40, so on and so forth, all the way up into the kingpin, your attributes will update themselves. So say you're doing a mission where you're swimming, right? And you're like, okay, as you level up, now your swimming is starting to go up. It's not just going to go up without your level. I've noticed that, um, like like I said in, the, in, in before, when you're doing the bike races and stuff like that, yeah, your stamina will go up, but it, it has to go up as your level progress. Now, of course, your level will progress because you're getting rep points for every time that you win, which is cool, you know, but a lot of people just want that all-inclusive, just shooting, just being a bad, total badass and stuff like that. Me, myself, I'd rather be all around, you know, make sure I got a little bit of everything. But driving is definitely one of my main things that I need to work on. I will tell you that. But uh, they set me up to go in here and get some drugs. Of course, only got pistol. He pulls out a gun on me, so, you know, I had to lay him down. Now, of course, he's not dead, so I got to make sure that he dies, which is cool. He died on his own, you know what I'm saying? Too many injuries. Now, and you, when you're playing on GTA Online and you're shooting people and stuff like that, I notice on the missions, the gun damage is crazy. Like, one dude can shoot you with one bullet and, like, half of your health will go away. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if you have body armor, I've got hit by something like an LMG. And I literally went down to the red. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was almost over for me. <laughs> but uh, in this one, you just go in there, you know what I'm saying, get a little tutorial, find out who's where, and then, you know, you get the drugs. Now... What I saw was that on this mission, the drugs aren't in the vicinity, which meant I had to grab a car and go chase after the drugs. Now, in the missions to come, you'll notice that the drugs will be with one guy and he won't run. I guess in this tutorial, they, they just wanted you to chase this dude to go get these drugs. But, you know, I'm cool with that. I'm trying to find a way out right now. Uh, I'm looking and I'm, as I see the dark shade, I'm like, all right, well, let me get up out of here. I'm picking up money as I go along. But uh, I noticed the green waypoint. I'm like, damn, this, this motherfucker is long. This is far away. So, you know, I got to go look for a car now. Me personally, I don't have a car. You know, this is just a tutorial for me. So I'm like, oh, shit, I need a wheel. Now, this right here pissed me off, though. Like, I see the van, right? So I'm like, all right, let me go grab. You know what I'm saying? Hit the button. Uh -uh. <laughs> no bueno. You can't get in there. So I'm like, oh, what the fuck? What's going on here? So, you know, I run through the alleyway. You know what I'm saying? Jump a couple fences and stuff like that. You know, I'm running for the gut. So, nah. But uh, I grabbed this range right here. Door wide open. I was like, hey. <laughs> hey, if you want to leave it open, you know what I'm saying? Why not? And uh, I know you guys probably saw that nice little car right there. But, nah, man. I couldn't, I couldn't take the car. I wasn't too sure if it was hot or not. Because uh, a lot of people were telling me in GTA Online, when you steal certain cars, people put bounties out on your head. Also, they'll chase after you as well as uh, have people just, the cops call, just cop, like instant three stars. Like, I, I think I got three stars for stealing like a, a Lamborghini one time. I guess it's called the Infernus on here, but you know what I'm saying? I tried to steal one of those. Things didn't work out. Now, uh, I'm just reading everything on the screen right now. It's telling me to deliver some drugs. So, of course, you know, this job was done. You know, I was like, damn, let me see if I can clean up a little bit more. Get a little bit more cash, you know what I'm saying? My pocket's thin, so, you know, I need everything I can get. But, <laughs> um, as I was driving to Gerald's house, um, I think I was talking on Skype with a few people. And they were like, yo, after you do the tutorial, right, it's this one mission that's crazy. But uh, I'm going to tell you guys about that mission in a little bit once we get uh, to the shooting part. But uh, they were like, yo, you, if you need quick money, you got to do certain things. Like, you can't just do every little mission and you can't just rob these liquor stores because 
some of the some of the payouts aren't good you can't rob the uh gas station some of the payouts aren't good and that's what i was doing in the beginning i'm like all right well what else is there to do but uh you know talking to lamar real quick you know what i'm saying lamar ain't never got no swag i don't know what's up with him but uh this is gerald right here you know a lot of you guys already know him you played gta online already but uh, I'm just here to get my levels up. You know what I'm saying? It's levels to this shit, so. All right. But uh, this right here is just, you know, the meet and greet. Something light. You know what I'm saying? Pass off the, you know what I'm saying? You know, can't can't talk about it, but you know I pass it off. You pass the cash. You know what I'm saying? And then you going to tell me you don't bother counting it. Like, <laughs> like, dude, crazy. Like, I could, you know what I'm saying, pop this top real quick. You going to tell me you don't even count the money. Like, I'm not going to count my payout. No, you high? But, you know what I'm saying? Right now, Lamar's telling me, yo, you looking shitty right now, bruh. You need to you need to go put some clothes on. Me, personally, I felt comfortable in my crew wear. I don't know. I, I feel very comfortable. You know, bright, royal blue shirt, you know what I'm saying? With a smiley face on a, on a, on a, a heart. Like, why not? You know, but that mission was passed. You know what I'm saying? Got a nice little plus 15 JP. Only five hundred dollars for the mission, but it's all good. Got that thirteen hundred rep. I'm moving on up in the world, but uh, just to show you guys my lay, I went real classic with it. You know what I'm saying, came out with the shorts, came out with the shirt vest, you know, some shotters, you know, some. Uh, I think I got some Converse's on or something like that. All black on black joints. <laughs> but they're just telling me, you know, um, you can go um, switch between your stuff with your inventory and stuff like that. Now. This is the this is the great thing about your inventory. When you're robbing stores and stuff like that, they got some joint called Vespucci mat or Vespucci or something like that masks. And I got me a mask and then like whenever I rob some place, I put the mask on from my inventory and then it brings down my levels. So, you know, whenever the cops chasing me, I'm like, oh, "All right, cool, cool, cool. I'm good." But uh I'm about hey, to get a call from Lamar. If you need to get some cheese real you about to quick, let me know about, about you know getting these licks and you know what I'm saying town, getting this extra cash it. so you telling me like yo go to the little county, mini marts and bread. food markets and, and you know 24 hours convenience stores and it's stuff like good. that and go rob them. So, I'm like, all right, you know, that, that's cool, well, that's cool, you but, you, you know what I'm saying, like I said, home. a lot of people have been telling me, like, that ain't even worth it, because you probably get about a stack to 1400 and you got to lose the cops with two stars, and sometimes you, you'll even get three stars if you have to end up shooting the clerk, because the clerk will try to shoot at you, so, I'm like, ah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. But uh, this joint is right down the block, so all I got to do is go to the store, pull out the blam blam, like you said, stick up the joint. Oh, also, another big thing about these convenience stores, it's a lot of users, right, that be in your world unless you're playing alone on a, on a private session. When you go in and you try to steal from the clerk, they will come in and shoot you or wait for you outside and come and just shoot you in the face or shoot you in the head and take you for everything you got now the best thing that you guys probably want to do when you hitting these licks right kill the kill the clerk deposit your money before you leave the store then when you leave the store hop in the car and speed off that's if you want to keep doing these convenience store licks and stuff like that like see i got like 1600 right got two stars but I know this ain't nobody around me. No other uh, real users are around me. So I'm able to get away and just and just jet. But uh, you always want to check before you rob a store. If there's any white blips around you. Because they'll come in. You know what I'm saying? Pull out they blam blam. And shoot you right in the face. You know what I'm saying? As, you, as you're taking the money. So uh, my main thing is I do play online with a lot of people inside the uh, session. But what I do is I play very, very safe. I keep a pump shotgun because that's one shot kill. If they run up on you, one shot kill. Also, whenever I get finished doing a job, I always open up my cell phone and then I put my money in the bank through my cell phone. I don't wait to go to an ATM. I don't take no chances. I put all my money in my bank right off from my cell phone. But uh, I'm a thug now. You know what I'm saying? It's real. I'm a thug, fizzle. You know what I'm saying? But uh, <laughs> I'm about to get a call from Simeon. He's about to basically let me know, like, yeah, man, you can uh, get these calls popping and all that. So I egged this call. <laughs> I know I ain't shit. I, I know, I know. 
But um, I'm just basically going to contacts right now because uh, since I ate this call, I guess in, I was thinking like, damn, this is a tutorial. Let me stop. Let me stop playing. So uh, I call him up, see what type of job he got for me. And uh, basically, he just told me like somebody. Well, somebody told me go to Los Santos Customs and basically make this car my car. So of course, you guys know my favorite color is blue. You know that's what I do. And uh, also, I still can't drive. Don't 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 fault me for it but <laughs> i still can't drive but uh basically gerald got another little job for me he was letting me know like yo you may be that bull right now you know and i'm saying you think you a thug and everything but we need to see what's up with your gun game so i'm like all right cool so you know i started looking at properties and all of that and i noticed i can't buy anything so i'm like oh okay i'm still in the tutorial i still need to get this joint popping so i drive off into the sunset I go to Cypress, I think it's like Cypress Flats or something like that. I think it's like a team death match or something like that type of uh, drink. I'm not totally sure, but you know, you guys will see it as soon as we switch some transitions. Like right now, you know, this is called Last Team Standing. Okay. So, uh, dudes is out here with no shirts on, all homo. But, uh, you know, <laughs> he was like, yeah, look at my chest, man. You know, I throw the baby oil on. I'm like, whoa. Pause, brother. You know what I'm saying? I had to lower the, uh, the audio on that. You know, I ain't want him to look at and I ain't want, want y'all to hear all that nonsense. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? Check my leg. Check the glasses. I'm just waiting for these guys to roll up. Of course, they not. So, you know, um, I'm just going in. You know what I'm saying? Guns of glory. But uh, I will say this, though. For getting money fast, I told you guys about the American Cycle Joint, right? Well, there's another couple more jobs that you can get money fast. If you're just starting out, um, American Psycho is definitely one of them. Um, another one when you get to like level 15 is a job from Gerald. I think it's called Violent Duck. And uh, this joint pays out 9K in like every three to four minutes. That's how long the job usually takes if you have a team of four. If you have a team of four, what you guys can do is two can come in where the uh the yellow loading screen is and two can come from the street side where the parking uh lot is and basically y'all just close in and kill everybody once somebody picks up the, the drugs somebody drive it back to gerald crib y'all get y'all 9k get y'all rep points then once you go to the loading screen where it's all four uh users and they have to like the uh match you like it then you hit rt or r2 for ps3 and then y'all automatically restart it. Y'all can keep doing that until y'all get, you know, whatever amounts of money y'all want for apartments, cars, you know what I'm saying, helicopters, everything, boats, jets, all that. Um, another mission is, I think it's like level 25. I think this is one either from Trevor or Martin or maybe Ron. I'm really not sure, but this joint is called like, uh, I think like, what is it? I can't remember. Oh, man, that sucks. Um, it's like ballistic something or it's something crazy. It's something you do at the airport. You basically got to fly there with a the team, take out some lasers and all that crazy stuff. And then, you know, you'll get, I think like 25 K and I think the mission takes seven to 10 minutes. So 25 K for seven to 10 minutes or nine K for three to four minutes, whichever is, you know, better for y'all. But, uh, I think the 25 K one takes a little bit more. Like you got to fly planes, you got to land aircrafts and all of that. But uh, this is IKC signing out. This was my first GTA Online tutorial video, and I'm a thug. Peace, y'all. This is Siri. Thank you for watching, and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.